here with uh, Tahir Bashir uh, this week from uh, Sheridan's and we're going to talk about uh, artists and contracts. And so contracts are central to an artist's career, whether it's a management deal, a, a label deal or anything like that. And how do you help them navigate through these agreements and help them understand them? Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of contracts are quite complicated and, and uh, whilst uh, artists nowadays are more commercially savvy than they have ever been, uh, you know, you're still talking about legal agreements and how they fit together. So if you've got an artist now who's uh, a musician but also has other interests, yeah. uh, so maybe fashion, maybe TV, maybe film, maybe endorsements, you've got to make sure that your contracts all fit in together. It's like a matrix of arrangements. So the first things first is making sure that artists understand what they're entering into. So having the skill to be able to explain things in layman's terms and simple terms and give a bit of guidance around those. Yeah, sure. And artists can be quite intimidated by, you know, the amount of clauses and, and decisions they have to make around the deal. And so uh, they might have a lot of questions. And uh, so how approachable are lawyers? And I know that artists can be quite intimidated by having to deal with, uh, uh, with a law firm and having to call an office and everything like that. Is, are you quite approachable in that sense? I hope so. We're human beings. We're not. We're not uh, demons. Um, I mean, other uh, other lawyers may uh, you know shy away from uh, you know being a bit less formal. But you know, in this industry, we're surrounded by creatives. All, all of our clients are creatives. So ultimately, you have to be approachable. So you know, we don't wear necessarily wear suits and just generally try and talk in you know relaxed, um, engaging terms. Um, so it's important that uh, you know artists feel comfortable with you because you know it's that old adage: no question question is a silly question. You want the, art, you know, the artist to be able to ask you questions yeah. and you need to be able to explain it to them in, in, in simple terms. Yeah, sure. And is it quite tough to uh, stand between uh, artist managers or labels when you are negotiating a deal? Is there a lot of uh, toing and froing, uh, trying to get the best deal you can for your artist? There can be, yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the idea is to try and simplify and shrink all of those negotiations as much as you can. Because obviously the longer it runs, the more momentum you lose from a deal, the more expensive it gets. Yeah. So the idea is to try and shrink it all together. And, you know, once you've got, uh, when you've got enough experience, you can deal with things over the phone, you can have meetings, it doesn't always have to be email toing and froing. Sure. Uh, and also uh, a good experienced music lawyer should be able to help an artist make decisions and not just effectively be there to wait for the artist to tell them what to do. So you know you should be able to guide them and say, well, you know, I think you should be doing this based on what I've seen, this is reasonable, this is not reasonable. Yeah. That's great. Awesome, thank you and till next week.